Yesterday during the uh, test series in India v England, uh, Michael Atherton came up with a comment where he said, um, if anyone out there thinks cricket batting is not a sideways game, they are wrong. That's quite a, a strong, strong comment, quite one-sided to just being sideways on, which I was quite surprised at. Obviously, there's different ways of batting. You can be side on, you can be open. The traditional way and the way that people think is the best way of doing it is side on. I personally disagree with that. I think you can do it both ways, but being slightly open or open is more effective. It makes batting easier. It's a better way of doing it. And I've been coaching for 30 years now and to coach someone to be slightly more open makes it much easier for them to play straight in the V. Stops them getting or minimizes them getting at LBW when the ball swings in. And from an open position, they turn their shoulder, they can go to the offside and play their off drive nicely. Um, also from this position, it's easier to make the decision to leave the ball. So yes, you can bat sideways on. Owen Morgan is very sideways on, Milan's very sideways on, but I don't think you can say everyone has to be sideways and you can't do it any other way because you look at Steve Smith, Conway, there's some of the top players in the world are open and some are very open. You wouldn't stop them doing that and the fact they're the best in the world proves that you can bat more open, but tradition has led us all to believe that sideways on is the way we must coach it, batting, and the way we must bat. And I've, I've coached for 30 years now, like I say, and teaching people to start off building their technique from an open position, and then finally tacking on the off drive is the best way of doing it, because it gives, you, it gives them a good structure. It gives them good alignment and good balance. From being sideways on you, yes, you can bat that way, but it's a lot more difficult. It's much harder to hit straight, and it's harder to play that ball that comes into you. So I'm slightly against tradition, and the, the reason I'm like that is because I've coached for years and years and years, and I've seen the benefits of opening people up a bit, just opening that front shoulder and their feet slightly. I mean, some people will stand slightly open like this. Some might go even more open. There are variations of that, and it depends what's working for the player you're working with. But the ones that are going very, very sideways on, so you're hearing from the commentary uh, team that don't show your back shoulder. Well, if you're not showing your back shoulder, you're very, very sideways on. If you're very, very sideways on, you're always battling against tipping over. If you do show your back shoulder slightly, like a lot of the great players do, you're in a much better balanced position or that initial neutral position. So it, it's food for thought. Um, the only way you're going to find out whether I'm, I'm, I'm giving you some good information or bad here is to go out and have a go at batting a little bit more open and see if it's easier or more difficult. And I think you might be surprised with, uh, with the results. So for me, I believe in a more open stance. I think that should be the default way we start training players. And if somebody happens to be very good at doing it sideways on, because um, there's always exceptions to the rule, then you leave them. But in my experience, every time a player comes into a net and I get the machine around the wicket and I swing it into them, nine out of 10 times the people that are sideways on, the ball hits the inside of the bat face, it hits them on the pad, it can bowl them through the gate, they're squirting balls out there, they're hitting around it here, and the minute you open them up, suddenly the V appears and they hit the ball nice and straight. And then you do it over the wicket, same again, until you've got the V from in, out, over and around, playing nice and straight. But like I say, give it a go, see how you get on.